Zoe, we're in Hoth Wood in New Haven this morning looking at a, a number of different uh, natural flood management techniques, including leaky dams, which is really interesting. Yeah. Um, and it's all part of uh, the new capital programme. Could you just give us a flavour of some of the things that are going on in the district and people can expect to see over the next couple of years? Yeah, well, so we're really focusing on how we use our green spaces, like this wood here, but equally how we use our play spaces. So we've got a massive programme of um, improvements to all of our play spaces across the district. We've got wild flower meadows coming. We've got green improvement in our green spaces. We've got some amazing improvements to biodiversity happening right the way across the district, Chris. And I know, James, that uh, in New Haven there's a major project planned at New Haven Recreation Ground. Absolutely, which is building into the priorities that we set when we took over the councillors and the Alliance in 2019 to invest in all of our green spaces in a way that was going to create a legacy for the community and obviously here in New Haven where I live you know we've got projects happening that tie in also with the uh, larger regeneration projects we're looking at for the town so certainly at Fort Row Rec but also a number of other projects um, around the town but also around the district and it's really exciting to see from my perspective as some of the young children uh, the emphasis on play that we're going to be bringing to the district all over the district um, from wherever you live our play areas and many places are looking a little bit a little bit tired in some places and could really do with a, um, some new equipment um, for, for the next generations that are to come. So it's a really exciting time and it's really good to be able to push forward with these plans that we've had from, from day one really. Thank you.